Um, do yeah. you feel like you helped at all in putting Kyle's on the mid app? Big facts, no cap. Everybody know that. That's that's public. Like 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 headline shit. When you pointed it out, that's public. We ain't gonna run from that. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, what I would say about this, and I never spoke about it to anybody, but I speak about it to you, um, is that if you got to look at the before and after, you know what I'm saying? She always had a platform, and she was always destined to be where she was going to be regardless. But when I stepped in, and there was a lot of codes being taught, it was like, you sh- you can do this. You should start this. You should start doing your hair like this. Or you wow. Should do this. You-, you should adapt because you need, you need black people to fuck with you because you need culture. This- if you ain't got black people behind you, you ain't got nothing. No, ain't nobody going to listen. You can't influence nobody. So I had a lot to do with all that, you know what I'm saying? Which I don't need credit for. I don't need to go online and tell people, like, I did this, and I'm the one that helped her coming up with these colors on her, uh, colors and names on her, on her, um, what is it? The lip, the lip line thing? Yeah, mm-hmm. and, like, all this, it was a lot of stuff, but it's like, I'm not that bitter type of person because God is going to pay me back. The universe is going to pay me back, and, mm-hmm. and people are seeing what's happening now. So I'm not a bitter person that's like, if we break up, we break up. We had a good time, and we kept moving. We kept, you know, we went our separate ways, and we both doing good. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's what you get them to check it out now. Let me tell you all this, man. Tiger, you are on a motherfucking undefeated streak, a winning streak, might I say, and you should not be fucking it up associating with Nicki Minaj. Now, Tiger, man, let me tell you this. You just fucked up because you set yourself up for an L, an L that you haven't caught in months. I told you face to face. You've been doing good, okay? Ever since you left that Kardashian chick, that Jenner chick, actually, because she's a Jenner, Kylie Jenner, ever since you left her, you got a song on the Billboard, Taze, you're doing well, you got a hair transplant, your shit is fire, you got fucking braids. I didn't even know niggas could get braids after they had no hairline. It's all good, though. It's all in the family. Now, here's the thing. Because Nicki Minaj, in the attempt to be messy and trying to get, like, some Wendy Williams-type radio show, and I'm not mad at it because I love the tea. But she started calling up a bunch of random entertainers, putting them on the spot. Who you fucking? Who you this? Who you that? Ask him a lot of questions that is kind of tough and kind of controversial. She asked Tiger, yo, Tiger, man, do you feel like you should be credited for Kylie Jenner's success? And Tiger was like, nah, 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 not really. But then he did take a little credit by saying what goes untold is that I kind of gave her some tips on how to get to black people and that's what kind of got her brand up a little bit that she could be a little bit more influential. Now, Tiger, you better cut your motherfucking malarkey, and this is how you catch L's. I'm going to tell you this. You're wrong. You're wrong, okay? Now, while you might have thought you were doing some shit, please let me remind you that her sister, Kim K, is a infamous nigga fucker, and basically she's been fucking niggas since slavery days. Bruh, she's fucked every nigga that could run under a 5.0 in a 40-yard dash. Stop it, okay? Kim K knows the way to black people's heart and knows the way to black culture, okay? Chloe knows the way to black people's heart and also the way to black culture. They don't need you. If Kim K could conquer Kanye... I'm pretty sure her sister could conquer the rest of America. Do you remember who Kanye was before he got with her? That nigga was hella pro-black. This thing is in Get Out right now, okay? So basically all I'm saying is that, Tyga, leave this subject alone. Clearly, you were around her, so you probably witnessed a lot of stuff, but you cannot take no type of credit for this chick. These chicks are born and bred to infiltrate the minds, hearts, and fucking sensory glands of black men. Also, they're trained and bred to have black men infiltrate their pussy. It is not because of you or what you told her. Trust me, she probably looked around. My sister is dating a very powerful black man, and now she has the ear of the entire black community. My other sister's doing the same. My whole family, shit, even my mama, she's doing the same. God damn. All I'm saying is that chill out, Tiger. No more else. We're in a new era, and you over here claiming you're responsible for some shit, especially with Kylie. Please cut it out. You don't need her to keep winning. Next time Nikki call you, and by the way, Nikki don't fuck with you. Next time she call you for some bullshit like this, hang up, okay? If she had a song, a solo song, or a song by that was her song actually charting this high, she wouldn't call your ass. And if you didn't have a song charting this high, she wouldn't give a fuck about you. It's the first time she talked to you in three fucking years on a radio show to ask you about Kylie. 
That's some fake ass shit to keep it 100, especially if y'all used to be cool. I'm sorry to say, okay? Don't answer her phone calls no more. Don't speak on no Kylie Jenner. Kylie's trash, by the way. I'm not defending Kylie. She's trash. But I'm just saying, stay away from all of this, Tyga, if you want to avoid the L's. All right? What do y'all think, man? Just some advice from the negotiator. What's the problem? Let me know. What y'all feel about my advice? Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to Bush Academics. Come on.